Hey, what's up? I'm episode number 263. We're going live on August 25th, 2017. My name's Matt Philly. You can find me on Twitter. I'm at Philly. That's producer Tom. Matt Tom's Philly on Twitter. How are you doing today? Doing great. Friday live stream only for Patreon supporters, Twitch subscribers. Join today. Join today. Links are down below. Seriously, it supports us and gives you three or four or maybe five extra live streams a month. It depends on how weird the month is. Yeah. But anyways, before we hop into the first setup of the day, let's take a quick moment to hear from today's sponsor. The notorious Dr. Evil. The most wanted man online. He's a criminal. He should be in jail. You get him between America and its money, and you're going to have big problems. It's quite interesting that a lobby group can get the White House to move against an internet nerd with military force. Top story this hour. New Zealand is at the center of one of the world's biggest internet piracy investigations. Located target. Safe room. You don't do a raid like this and get away with it. I got a chance to see Kim.com caught in the web and it's awesome, especially if you remember Mega Upload. You'll be just shocked to see all the stuff that happened behind the scenes. You know, Kim.com's house was raided. You get to see the whole battle between Kim.com and the US government and the entertainment industry all about ownership and piracy and privacy and just all this crazy stuff that happened. I highly recommend you check it out. Click the link down below in the description to go watch the movie on iTunes right now. And also, if you know about Kim.com, do you think he's a hero or do you think he's a villain let me know by leaving a comment down below definitely click the link and go watch it on itunes right now so there you go now let's not waste any more time and hop into the first setup of the day submitted by miguel he's 17 he's set up for gaming at school where he's a big fan of star wars the mural on the wall is made of random things that he's put on there over the years you know so um yeah interesting kind of, I'm not going to lie, when I read the description before looking at the photos, I was like, oh, this is going to be sick. And then I looked yeah. at it and I'm like, okay. Uh, yeah, looks like I mean, a 13-year-old boy's he like, he like He's added like you know one thing and then add another thing, another yeah, thing. Yeah, I, I get so. that he's explaining like the idea behind it. Yeah. But like, yeah, at the same time, I was expecting, when you say mural, I'm like, oh, did he hand paint something? What's going on? But uh, it's all good. You know, this setup, I do have a lot of complaints and it's not really the room. Like, okay, I look at that photo. Cool. Check plus. You, you got a good... You did get a good score on theme. I'll give him that. Yeah. But if you go start to rewind, we'll see some issues. So looking at this photo, first off, Steve should be just chilling. Is that his name? Steve? Steve. It is yeah. Steve. Yeah. Uh, that's not really the best way to have your PlayStation 4 set up. The garbage can also hideous, but just not a good spot for that. Don't think that's how the bag works, but um, all that's got to go. You have no room underneath for your legs. Usability of your PlayStation's awful. You got to figure that out. As far as cable management, you know, I, I do want to say like great job with feeding it down the leg and keeping it, you know, keeping it one hundo. But um, the even with the sleeve and all that, it's just like okay, that's that's good. The power strip, though, I think you could have mounted it underneath. It would have made things a little bit easier. But it's a cheap IKEA desk, so doesn't matter. You could still you could still mount it. Still mount it. Wouldn't, still, it wouldn't it like deteriorate sig- over time? You get a signum. You let it just fall in there. You could even do adhesive. There's a lot of things you could do, but it is what it is, and that's all that it is. And I ain't gonna say too much about that though. But if we go to the first photo, this is where a little bit more of the usability issue comes forward. I don't know if you're seeing what I'm seeing, Tom, but there's really no like. If I was to ask you a question, how does he sit here, and how does it? How does it actually feel comfortable? Like, would you say this looks comfortable? It's because of the leg space for me, at least. I think, like... Well, just drop that out of the equation at first. Equation. The, you see how, like, the laptop is set up with the s- screen on the side? Yeah. Like, picture you're, you're on the computer, but you also want to play PlayStation. Is this comfortable? I mean, I guess when you think about it, it's not because, you know, there's no... It's, like, two separate spaces, and he's trying... Like, he has the mouse all the way to the right side, but the laptop, I'm guessing, is what he's using it for, which yeah. is all the way to the left, left side. So, yeah. No, and he doesn't have a extended, like, the monitors doesn't... The monitor's not used with the laptop. No, yeah. From what we can see. Yeah. So that's another issue. So having the mouse all the way over there, having the laptop tilted, just think about him trying to use the keyboard. He's sitting dead center as if his laptop was centered, but the laptop isn't centered and it's at an angle. angle. So, an angle. So yeah. think about trying to type on a keyboard that's at an angle while your laptop is tilted and then you get your mouse over here. It's just... No bueno, señorita, por favor, mis amigos. Ay, caramba. I said, no, stuff no. For the desk. Uh, he's got his headphones behind the laptop because he doesn't have room to put it anywhere else on yeah. the desk. And that's a big issue right there. And he's yeah. just got 
too many random things all over the place. Um, I think he's cool in terms of like having unique stuff, like oh, look at my skateboard and stuff like that. Yeah. But then, you know, and, and to know that he's seventeen, it just makes me like confused because it's like, shouldn't For you sure. have a brain to know that this isn't the best way to? But you know, eh, you do what you got to do. So, do you have any final thoughts for him? Yeah, get rid of the stuff on the bottom. Figure out a different situation to put your PS4. I understand you can't put it on your desk because you don't have room on your desk. But maybe if you find a little thing to display it, and that'd be great. But uh, you know the. The mural, the collage, I would call it. I mean, it's it's fine. I actually don't mind it. It's it's something. Yeah, it does look messy, but it's there's a yeah, reason for it because he slowly put each and every little thing on it. So I think it's fine. Theme is okay. Too. Yeah. So that's why, like, don't even worry about that. Just fix the desk and you're good. Yeah. And that's it. Next setup submitted by Thomas. Whoa, Tom, what are you doing there? We're doing here. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, Fifteen years old. Trucks are his passion. Weird. Did you get the vibe other than the racing wheel that he's into any automotive? Yeah, his, his friends uh, said some stuff about him. You'll see. What? Oh. <laughs> um, but anyways, he built his first game PC in June 2014. A lot of his friends said, your setup has no soul. There are no LEDs. He doesn't have the money to make a setup better. He knows the capable management is not beautiful or exceptional. But when you have just zip ties and crappy old IKEA desk, you can't do better. Yeah, you can! You know, yeah. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, honestly, you got some mean friends. That's all I'll say. Your, your setup has no soul. Like, I well, if he was a ginger, I'd be like, well, that's just <laughs> obvious. But this photo here just makes me wonder. First off, had you done a photo without the racing wheel and all that, I'd be like, ah, oh, that makes a lot more sense. But since you didn't supply us with that, it kind of makes it hard for us to really wonder does this guy like ever put the steering wheel away or is he like the steering wheels around his arms he's like trying to type Maybe on the damn just, keyboard he's that passionate you know? he's like i love trucks oh, i just need this here all the time uh but seriously the cable management is so easy to fix uh this is not good i'm not a huge fan of this and, and he said it's like the cheap ikea table this is better than having like a linmon or whatever so True, yeah. you really don't have an excuse there with that um saying and this is what kind of killed you is saying that you have just zip ties you're not using zip ties that's for sure whoa 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 stay on that phone whoa 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 so I was just looking around. Zip ties, though, right, Tom? Come on, you know how to use zip ties. Is is he doing it right? No, there's some, still some slack. Here. It's not fully tight, you know, around the wires. So definitely need to fix that. Just too many issues all over the place. I mean, the cables along the floor, cables along the bottom of the desk, going what's supposed to be down both legs. Just so many issues. You need to learn how to actually use a zip tie, and then you need to just also, like again, I say it all the time: scotch tape, electrical tape. Um, you can get anything little tax ikea apparently you have an ikea near you go get the five dollar fix it cable thingies like you know i just gave one to tom the other day to yeah use, use different mine yeah, and it helps great. a lot right it definitely yeah put everything to the bottom of the desk boom. yeah especially the little cable tax you just hammer in it doesn't matter what your desk is just dude it's super easy so you know again of course having something like the racing wheel setup and whatnot it, it does of course add to it but, uh, you know, I don't think that's really the biggest issue in the world for you. I think there's other things to worry about. You know, I think there's a lot of random stuff on the desk that can go. Um, the JBL speaker is retarded. The placement of your speakers isn't great, especially because it's being blocked by stuff like the Yeti, which that's another issue in itself. And then all the stuff at the bottom left. And then, of course, the way the PC is set up over there, it's like such a weird spot for it. And then, of course, there's nothing on the wall. So saying you love trucks... It's a big, big problem. We don't say anything about it um, around your setup, at least. Um, we see one car. Yeah. Congratulations. But uh, I would never have assumed that, looking at your setup, other than the racing wheel, which really doesn't work. You know? No, for sure. Yeah. No. It's, yeah, you need to add some stuff to the wall. I like the wall color. It's unique. Oh, God, it comes next up. It's unique, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, you just need to add something. Yeah, and apparently he's all out with this... Uh, this gear shifter jesus christ i just realized that that's uh damn I, I and i'll say it again when i move if i have like extra space and i can somehow manage to make it work i would love to have a legitimate simulator i'll even get like the closed over box and stuff have the tv set up and then ooh, or just use you know vive but i would love to have the big truck steering wheel with the little knob thing and you go like, like oh I don't know what it is. I've always had a fascination with that, but I'm not like this kid where I'm like, trucks. 
I think you're taking it all too far. Okay, anyways. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> next up is going to buy Safriz. 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 Safriz right there. Okay. 30 years old. Thanks for your channel. He's learned a lot from uh, other setups and your feedback. He's from Malaysia. The table is shared with his wife's makeup workstation. Therefore, he has a limited space for his setup and tables permanently attached to the wall. There was, therefore, there's no way to hide the cables unless he drilled into the table. And most of the time, he's just going to be using his headphones to listen to video, music, and gaming. So uh, due to tight space, the G G L L JBL Charge 3 is more than sufficient as a speaker. So... I'm not gonna lie. I didn't read the description at first. I saw this photo and I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I was like "That's why you should always read it." I know. I was just like, "Dude, I think, huh?" You know, I think it's hilarious though because this is actually like this should be uh, a memed photo, like my side versus her, her side, side or some yeah. shit. And it's just funny because that is really that's like a girl's dream right there look at yeah. all that shit you got the and really, it's clean too you know? yeah it's like, really nice mirror all the different little ways to, I, don't, I don't know what each thing is but like you know <laughs> critiquing yeah all the storage and stuff station. and like look at that. that that's actually like if i had to do makeup that's a great place to do it yeah the mirror has got all the lights around it you know it's a yeah. perfect mirror for so that's and i love how it just splits like right down the middle with the computer yeah so you know, obviously, I'm not here to critique the makeup, but I have to give you props. Like, you made a room where that you had to share look really nice. I love that wall. It's like the tiles or whatever. Yeah, it looks so clean and kind of like matches both setups. Not like one setup it looks better with it than you know the other setup. Yeah. Plus having the uh, overhead lamps, you know, the bulbs at least. Yeah. That looks really good. I, I, I like it. So um, super cool there. Uh, I'm getting a text from. <laughs> Shout out to Mike Panetta. He's like, "You doing a show today? No." Uh, I'll just tell him right now. We're live now. So there you go. But anyways, talking about what really matters is this left side. And he did a great job given the amount of space. I will say in certain places and spots, things may look a little more cramped. I think it's more so just the way this camera was taking the photos. It made it look like, whoa, trippy, you know? Yeah. It's kind of like a wide-angle lens, I think. I think it's fish-eyed or something like that. So, yeah, yeah well, it's not super fish-eyed if that's the case. I think it's just wide-angle, so... He's really standing close to everything, but it makes it look, you know, he's so far away. So it's yeah. interesting. Um, but having the iPad there, I think that's super interesting. Uh, we see the JBL speaker he was talking about, and the, you got the Echo and stuff like that. Which, by the way, um, Alexa, play jazz music. Okay. Anyways, so at first, I'm not going to lie, because the photo was, like, loading all weird. With the USB hub mounted where it is, it almost looked like a PlayStation was there. And then I zoomed in. And like it finally finished loading, yeah, and it's like underneath, and like you can that. just see that's just mounted under a monitor riser, which I think is awesome. So super, super cool. Um, I I do like that. Now, um, when I look at everything going on here, I I was a little worried when he said that he can't. You know, the desk is mounted to the wall, so he can't feed cables through. Blah blah blah. So how did he handle that? He had to come out the side in front of the drawer into a blue lounge cable box or maybe that's not even blue lounge maybe that's just a no name brand but that is a way to do it um so damn that's that's really really smart so uh props there i think that's genius you know because sure, yeah. i want to know though tom do you think that looks stupid I don't think it does. It's not like it's interfering with any of the drawers. It doesn't. It matches the wall and the dresser and all that. So I think it looks perfectly fine sitting there. Yeah, and what's good is the drawer can still open up. Yeah. So I think that's the most important thing. I mean, that one cable. I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of triggering me, but it's really. I mean, we're just we're just being dicks here. So uh, you're uh, being. <laughs> well, yeah. I really want to give him props there because it actually works to his advantage because you look at under the desk and it just looks so clean where the footrest is um, and you just look at every little aspect of it and it's super nice super neat just really really awesome um, but yeah it definitely feels like a little too much I guess that's just a photo though because it, it's not that bad yeah because it's all got a lot of dark peripherals and all that so it kind of blends in you don't know what's actually you know there and what's not yeah but it, it is a super super nice room um Little things in here, here and there, though, that I would change. But it's hard because he doesn't have a lot of space. We do see a little bit of like the inner workings of the cable, which I think is cool. He's got the cable loom and stuff. Um, but I think like that. What is that in the left corner? Is that a? Is that like a? That thing? Yeah. Uh, yeah. What is that? It's like a I have no idea. Mini fridge, baker, uh, <laughs> laser engraver. 
3D printer. <laughs> Maybe it's got some like button. Like, yeah, I don't, I don't know top. what it is. Anybody in the chat? Let me know. But yeah, any final thoughts? No, I like the room. I, I with the space you had, you did a great job. For sure. Yeah, cool. Next setup submitted by Jesper. Uh, 14, you set up for gaming, watching YouTube, and homework, and oh my god, what is that? That is the ugliest, stupidest thing I've ever seen in my life. Get rid of it. Why don't you get a normal power strip? What the f- the hell? The hell yeah, are you doing? If it was a different color, I think it would look better, but why, yeah. why is it a big circle, though? It's different. It's like a bowl. You just attach it. It's like, you know, when you have to open up a, like a safe or something like that. It's like... Sh- 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 That's weird. Uh, and, and Bones, uh, for the other one, I wasn't talking... Uh, not the thing on top. The thing... Like the big Below mini it. fridge thing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyways, so taking a look at this setup, submitted by Jesper, or uh, I guess it's Jesper. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, he says this, you say his name wrong, so I don't know if that means Jesper. Because I say Jesper, and then people say Jesper. I don't, I don't really yeah. care. Uh, regardless, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this because there's absolutely nothing going on. There's literally nothing going on. The thing I always complain about is seeing people's boxes. Like, oh my god, he's got a Core i7, a GTX 1080. No way. Yeah, like... Excuse me, sir. Uh, but seriously, the two things that really shouldn't be on the desk are there. And other than that is your PC, monitor, keyboard, mouse, and mouse pad. And that's it. Who cares? No one cares. I don't care. Do you care? No. No. And he's got one LED strip, which it looks worse in the photo than I guess it really is. I'm sure yeah. it's not that bad in person. But uh, just super underwhelming. You know, your cable management, it's not terrible. But because of that thingamajigaroo, it screwed your score up out of sight, out of mind. Honestly, you can get a bad score out of sight, out of mind because... He has nothing on his desk, so yeah. it's like an empty setup. Um, accessories really lacking. He doesn't have speakers, have headphones. He doesn't have anything to hang headphones because he doesn't have the headphones. You know, like all these little things you can think of. Theme, what is theme? You know, he's got a blue wall, green LEDs, RGB keyboard, and then a red case. The, f- the what are you smoking? Well, twelve back Vader said my theme is retail boxes for computer parts, so that's his theme. Hmm. Is this Vader. this guy? No, it's not the same guy. He's just he's joking around. Oh, okay. I got a little worried there. I was like, what? Uh, but yeah, I mean, I don't really have anything to say about this unless you do. Nope. All right. Next setup is a clusterfall. Uh, Noah's 18 got a job within the past year, and he's had some money, more money to spend. Tried arranging his consoles on a shelf, but can't find a per- perfect spot to put them. Also, the cords uh, only stretch so far, and it's hard to hide them. He wants to know where to hide the power strips. First off the fuck are you trying to do <laughs> what is this is this just a console setup because it's just a console setup and, and then <sighs> the thing is i just look at the look just look at the second photo and just stare at it there was no attempt don't tell me the cables are they just no and stuff because you're putting the power strip so damn low regardless it's going to be an issue. So unless you have longer cables, like longer power cords, HDMI cords, whatever, it's just going to be hard. But what makes it even worse is just the way, the spot you put everything. You like want to hide the power strips, and then you put it right there? What the hell? That's very stupid. So, uh, yeah, I think this furniture is just not working for you at all. How got f- a new desk, too. Like These are updated photos. This, this is updated? This is his new desk. Terrible. I don't know what you're smoking. The TV you put in probably the worst spot ever, ever, because it's completely half of it's blocked by a mini fridge. The just the where the whereabouts of everything. I mean, the, oh my, the controllers. It's just so stupid. And the, where the consoles are, why would you willingly buy this desk if you were mainly doing the TV? I see you have your laptop. That's great. Congratulations. You can use a laptop anywhere. Um, but if you're mainly doing an, like a console-based setup, why would you make that your desk choice? It, it doesn't make sense. I, I would almost just get an entertainment stand and then get like a rolling something or other little desk for your laptop or, or just a simple, not an L-shape. What the, why the hell do you need an L-shape? Your TV is just longer than one side of the desk. Yeah. It just makes no sense. So, you know, the photos, um, uh, maybe put the TV. Uh, no, it's not even worth it. I would just give up. I would just give up because it, it's like, it's just, yeah. The second photo is what really makes me think he's just, he doesn't really care. He's just kind of messing around, you know? There's a lot of wires for, yeah. for just like two consoles. It's, 
yeah, it's it's uh, something. It's definitely something. So, um, yeah. Hey, can someone in the dis uh, in well in the Discord chat hook Mike Tech Examined up with the link because he's like going crazy right now. Um, he's on Discord. But anyways, so uh, yeah, I don't have much else to say for him. But this next setup, there's also a lot to say. Not nearly as bad. Just a few things here and there that kind of drive me crazy. Submitted by Ulysses. He's 15. His dad built his desk two years ago. He's looking to get another desk along with the triple monitor stand. His YouTube channel is Exotic Games with a Z. So, he said he's looking to get another desk, which I what I assume he means is he's going to build another one or he's going to buy another one. Yeah, it didn't say specifically what he was going to do, but he wants But he's to getting get rid of this. Yeah, he wants to get rid of it. Good, because obviously it's not working. Um, I mean, I, I think that's pretty obvious, but it also... Do you really want to do triple monitors, man, with, like, these monitors? Because your AOC one to the left, I mean, I'm just going to say it. It's going to look like shit when you put it on a triple monitor stand. The other two are going to look all nice and, like, ooh, look at that. And then you're going to have that left one. And someone's going to be like, what the hell are you doing? The ugly one. <laughs> yeah, like, what the hell are you doing? Um, it doesn't. I don't even know if you really have the room for, like, a, a desk that's... Because you zoom out to the second photo, and it's like you're utilizing the L... Before the windows. You know, so... Okay. What are you going to do? Burn your couch? You know, is it going to come out past the wall on the right side? Yeah. You're kind of at full usability there. You know, if you go any bigger, you're just going to make it a lot harder to use. Plus, it's really not that deep of a desk. I mean, maybe... Eh, it's not terrible, but the right side's not deep at all. So I feel like for me... Uh, if you make the desk even deeper, you're going to lose a lot off that right side... So do you need the the L? Can you just go full across, deeper? That way you can spread out and center yourself to that portion, and you can fit triple monitors a little bit easier, get full usability of the speakers, have just more breathability overall, then have attachments underneath to attach um, the PlayStation and the laptop and stuff like that and, and just call it a day. I think if you did that, you get a little more modularity out of it to where you can take a spot, gain more out of it and customize everything to your needs personally that's what i think you could do uh otherwise you're not really going to find an l desk that's going to give you how do you how do you expect to get more space when you already are using all the space i don't think he said he wanted to get another l desk i just saw he wanted to get another desk so maybe he is going to be switching from an l desk to just a normal desk that just goes across to the uh, right side wall so well that's definitely what he's going to have to do yeah um because there's not a lot of room here to to make things work i you know in this photo we'll stay here for a second um my biggest complaint is just the horrifying mix of colors you know he's got his Christmas lights, then he's got the Tar Heels all over and the Tar Heels blue, but then he's got like this weird aqua, weirdish blue neon kind of curtains with a red couch, more Tar Heels, and then black and yellow for Steelers, and then like all these weird things, and then this desk that looks like he just stole um, the wood and like stapled it and nailed it together and called it a day. I just feel like there's way too much going on. So if you're really going to take it serious, I don't think a new desk is the only thing you should be worried about. You know, if you do a new desk, stain it or whatever, may it look really, really nice, but then try to flow that through into the rest of the room. Maybe if you really are a big Tar Heels fan, why wouldn't you just 100% go for Tar Heels? You know, why are you starting to go into all these? Are you a Steelers fan more than a Tar Heels fan? He's got a Panthers rug too. Oh my God. So like, are you a a football fan? Like, what is it that you're into? Try. Oh yeah, I just realized that. Uh, try to come up with some sort. Yeah, why are you a Steelers fan if you're a Tar Heels fan? And I have the Panthers. St- uh, something's weird here. So I would just kind of figure it out, solidify it down to one main idea, and go from there because this is just a cluster of all hell. I it's mean, got a lot of potential. Though. I do like the walls. Like you know, usually like the I hate the little like borders or whatever, like yeah. Carolina the Tar Heels. But I kind of like that. You know, it's different. You don't really see it nowadays. You just see like a basic sports. Because yeah, it's like order. a five-year-old thing. Yeah, yeah. But I think it's okay, and I feel yeah. like you should run with that Tar Heel theme. Yeah, exactly. It's good if you're gonna leave it for a Tar Heel yeah. theme. If you're gonna start going black and yellow or something random, it's gonna look really stupid. So, but it's really it's not the end of the world. You know, you change your desk, you finalize a few things, and there you go. You know, a lot of potential in the setup. I really, I'm looking forward to the changes that you make. Yeah. 
So, final set, not final setup. <laughs> Next setup is submitted by Ion14. Everything was either gifted to him as a present or paid from his own pocket. He knows the laptop is not the greatest. He's saving up for a PC, though. And the keyboard is really odd. Or is it just old? Odd. 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 Really odd. Uh, also saving up for a mechanical keyboard. Uh, but everything else in his setup is really good in his opinion. I got to give it to you. Your theme is great. You know, that's a cheap, effective way to display your jersey, polo, whatever those are. Jerseys? Yeah, yeah jerseys. Um, that's uh, pretty smart because he hides how he's hanging it. You, know, you can see part of the hanger, obviously. But yeah. he puts the Barcelona thing over top, which I think is actually pretty cool. But uh, down the road, if you really want to stick with this theme and you're not going to wear those ever, and who knows? He might still wear them. That's why he does it like that. Yeah. You know, it's on an actual hanger. Um, but if you're not going to wear them and you want to get more theme out of it, you can frame them. You could decorate it up a little bit more. Kind of like we just saw in the last setup. You know, you have the border. Wh- whatever you want to do. But um, framing is definitely going to look uh, look nice. And then is that framed on the door? I can't tell. It's got like a weird drop shadow. It's like a thin. I, I m- think it is. It looks kind of like it's a nice frame. I don't know. Yeah. Um, someone said that's real football. Ugh. Uh, I'll call it sock from here on out. Uh, but anyways, <laughs> uh, there really wasn't too much that I hated about this setup. I think the speakers are a little close. Uh, I wish the desk was a little bit bigger because then you could easily put the laptop somewhere. But if you're going to keep the laptop like that, obviously you're building a PC sooner or later. But if you're going to keep the, the laptop closed or whatever, just get a docking station that holds it up. You let yourself spread out the stuff a little bit more. Um, You know, the right side, again, it's up against the speakers, but it's kind of also hard to work with unless you have another spot to put it. Um, It's pretty straightforward, though. He's got a headphone hanger, uh, which is good. And the cable management's pretty straightforward. I mean, maybe not the prettiest for the subwoofer. And technically, the subwoofer could have been next to one of the legs, and the legs could have had the cable running up that way, and you could have just called it a day. Um, But I'll give you props. It's not terrible. It really isn't. Um, I think it actually got tied for first place, which is weird. But when you break down category by category, he really, you know, getting a 10 in theme helped him a lot. You know, so um, not bad. So you ready for the next setup? Yeah, I, I just feel like the walls are kind of like a miss. Like, I wish you could paint the walls maybe a different color. Yeah, just, at least it's not an ugly color like the last I setup. just don't like the brown that over here. I don't know why. It's like tan and brown. It just the colors don't mesh like correctly for, yeah. you know, wall colors at least. Yeah. Uh, any final thoughts? No, that, that's... Final, final setup thoughts. submitted by Joey28. Uh, not because his username is Joey28. It's just because he's Joey. He's 28. And he was on episode 110. He likes to sing and... What? He likes to sing and record it. Uh, <laughs> That's what he said, dude. I'm just... <laughs> on the left side is his <laughs> Samsung 55-inch 4K TV. Plays games, watches movies on that. Uh, but he also says, please not kill him with the speaker plays when he tried his best. But uh, regarding to rear speakers, he has nowhere to put them. So he fiddled around with the settings on his computer to maximize his performance. So this is what it looked like. This is what it looks like now. Yeah, but the rear, you don't put the rear there. I, I, you know, I understand if you, you do this, that, and the other, but you don't put the rear there. It would have looked better if you just didn't, you know? I mean, it looks like it's so, supposed to be there. It, but... it looks like it. It doesn't mean it's going to be like, ooh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But for, like, the basic person, they're like, oh, the speaker's supposed to go there. That's cool. That's the problem, though. We're trying to get away from that. Yeah. So that's just one thing. I, You know, it's just, it tells you, like, okay, left. Right, center, rear. Not, ooh, right up here. It looks cute. Uh, Atsu said they do have settings for five in front. Well, that's what he said. He said that he fiddled with the settings. So at least he did that. And it does, And going off what Tom said, it does look cool. Because yeah. it looks like it's complete, like a set. But I just, I don't know. Especially coming from, okay, go back real quick. At least it's better than that. Yeah. I mean, look at the center. That's just, what the f- but, you know, anyways, that's a whole other story. I wish we got better photos of the setup. Um, cable management, I don't know if it's actually great because we can't really see. Uh, granted, I think this desk has the backboard that's just going to hide the cables anyway, but we didn't get a picture of that. So kind of disappointed there. Um, this is how a racing sim should be. Check that shit out. You know, you have it all set up on wheels. Re- look, That looks like a comfy-ass chair. Um but basically, you sit there, you chill, you drive, you woo woo, beep beep, bop bop, and you have your rear speakers in front of you. You're like, yeah, this is it. I'm driving down the 
The Route 66. Okay, anyways. Uh, so basically when he's done with that, though, he throws it away out the window, doesn't need it anymore, and pulls out... Really a waste of money or some <laughs> yeah. time, but... <laughs> pulls out a brand new... Well, is it actually brand new? No, it's the same one. It's the same chair, yeah. uh, A nice, badass-looking chair. Uh, and someone said, is that a new desk? Well, if you look at the first photo... <laughs> yeah! <laughs> it's new! Um, this desk works way better for him. Way better. Uh, the PC looks pretty good. Uh, maybe a little close to everything, but I think he, he's going for that look to kind of, like make it all one continuous piece or whatever. So it's really not that bad, all things considered. I like the little monitor risers. If you want to get real crazy and make it one custom piece, that'd be cool. So it just goes, instead of three things next to each other, you just go whoop, one piece across. would look yeah. really nice. Um, and then, yeah, he's got his microphone over there. I really wonder how close he can pull it to himself, though, because it just seems so It does far. seem far, yeah. Yeah, like, you pull it. It has to be, like, you know, 20 feet long, like, -da 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 -da. <laughs> <laughs> like every time you pull it out, you just, yeah, so much slack. Like, Holy okay. shit. Yeah, you, you don't get over there. <laughs> <laughs> um, I feel like on the backboard though, with the, the darts and stuff, that just seems really weird and not a safe spot. To I'm throw. wondering, cause we don't like have a full photo. Like what if that end part, like still has some room over there. So it's like a direct lane right towards it. But still by, why would you want to do that by your computers? Well, maybe if he's a professional darts player, he doesn't yeah. have to worry about it. He's missing. like, shut up, Matt. <laughs> I mean, look Every at his wall. bullseye. But look at his wall. It's perfectly clean, so obviously yeah. he doesn't miss. I thought you were going to say, look at where the darts are. I was going to say, nah, he could have just put them there. Um, that, that is a good point, though. So, yeah, imagine like he put them there for the photo. Like, <laughs> yeah, he's like, take a picture. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I mean, it, it is a cool setup. Looking at the TV and stuff, I wish you put the TV on just for the photo because it would have just been like, ooh, baby. But I really think there's still a lot of space on the wall that needs to be utilized. Uh, the wall color is a little bit hideous, and, and I think think it clashes with what you're going for but then again sort of the curtains i feel like if you really want to maximize this you paint that like a nice light gray get dark black curtains off to the right side there and then really sell the black and red yeah yeah boys but also just more so for the fact that you know what uh, what is the theme i sure. did have a hard time with the theme a suits for public of gamers okay yeah if that's how you want to play the game i mean yeah it's like black and red cool but uh what are you into? A gaming? Yeah, racing sims probably. Yeah. Maybe get something that represents cars or, you know, something like that. But seriously, that racing sim, I'm extremely jealous. That's super badass, dude. super badass. Super badass. And I, it's funny because I really do remember his setup when he was on. So, uh, But there you go. You go. You go. You go. You go. It's time for the part of the show where we give the scores. First up of the day, submitted by Miguel, 70. Thomas, 58. Safriz, 80. Jesper, 72 Noah 46 Ulysses 64 A -A 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 Ion. Ion 86 Joey 88 yeah that's pretty good I mean 9 8 9 10 8 not bad Joey not bad at all but really it was, it was your theme I gave you an 8 for theme which I think is maybe a little too nice I think it was good yeah so there you go thank you so much for watching this episode of Pit My Setup episode number Two six three. Record live on August twenty fifth, twenty seventeen. My name is Matt Philly. Find on Twitter, Matt Philly. That's Thomas Philly. Thomas Philly on Twitter. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and we will see you on Sunday.